Sebelum menonton video ini, Anda harus mengikuti aturan main saat menonton videonya. Berikut berapa hal yang harus Anda perhatikan. Pertama, video ini adalah video pembelajaran. Jadi Anda harus berdoa sebelum belajar. Kedua, video yang akan Anda saksikan berisikan konten video interaktif. Jadi saat saya bertanya kepada Anda, Anda harus menjawabnya. Contohnya, how are you? Anda harus menjawab, I'm fine, thank you. Mungkin akan sedikit aneh. Tapi ini adalah salah satu penerapan konsep belajar sambil melakukan. Ketiga, video pembelajaran ini akan menjadi efektif jika Anda mau melakukan apa yang ditugaskan atau disarankan oleh pemateri. Keempat, jika Anda senang dengan videonya, klik tombol like dan jika Anda ingin berkomentar, sampaikanlah dengan baik dan sopan. Terakhir, untuk membantu channel ini menjadi berkembang, klik tombol subscribe. Karena subscribe itu gratis. Dan jangan lupa tekan juga tombol loncengnya supaya Anda dapat notifikasi tentang video terbaru dari channel ini. Enjoy the video and happy learning! Hello class, how are you? What day is it today? What make you happy today? Today we are going to learning cause and effect. Are you ready for the lesson? Let's get it on! Our topic today that we're learning about cause and effect. This topic is for vocational high school English basic competence. This lesson is supposed to identify cause and effect tax. To understand cause and effect structure, to analyze cause and effect tax, and to create cause and effect tax. I would like to say thank you for sederet.com as my source of the lesson. Let's start from the definitions of the cause and effects. Cause and effects is a sentence that built by involving the actions that make something happen from the actions. Or we can use conjunctions that they indicate cause and effects. These are the phrase of the cause and effects, so you can remember it and make it into the sentence as your practice. First, due to, and then because of, owing to, as a consequence of, as a result of, because, since, as, for, so. These are the phrase have a meaning in Bahasa is karena. To analyze the text, so you have to know about the structure of the cause and effects. You can choose with the structure, signal or phrase, plus cause, plus effect, or effect plus signal word, or phrase, plus cause. It means that you can identify the text or the conversation that you want to make into the cause and effects. This is the sample of the due to, the phrase of cause and effect due to. Due to Bella nervousness, she did not pass the driving test. And the cause is Bella nervousness and the effect is she did not pass the driving test. Why? I choose due to because due to it's something due. I not choose the because. This is assignment for you. Write on your book and change into English versions. And next sample, we use a signal phrase because of. He always late because of his gaming habit. So, the cause is his gaming habit. And the effect is he always late. Why we use always? Because it's about habit. Why I choose because of? 
It's the simple choose for the linked sentence. And this is your task to translate or to change from Indonesian versions into English versions. And next sample, we use signal phrase as a result of. And this sample is, as a result of the rain, we cancel the outing. And the signal phrase is, as a result of. And cause, that is the rain. And the effect, we cancel the outing. So, why we choose a result? Why we choose a result of? Because we choose a rain word. Because it rain. That the rain implants something. And this is task for you. Change into English versions. Remember, don't take a machine translation. The next signal phrase from the cause and effect is owing to. Owing to. Dennis could not sing owing to his sore throat. The signal phrase is owing to because his sore throat. And in fact, Dennis could not sing. Here it is, your task. Please change into English fashion. The signal phrase for the sample as a consequence of. We can see on the screen the sample is she was dismissed as a consequence of her ignorance. Why we choose as a consequence? Because the mind thinks is ignorance. As you see on the screen, signal press as a consequence of and cause her ignorance and in fact she was dismissed. Alright, this is for you. Thanks to English version. For the next cause and effect press, we can see a signal press because. This is the simple way to link up a sentence. He always late because he always stay out night. A signal press because and because he always stay out at night. And in fact, he is always late. This is task for you. Write on your book and change it to English versions. And for the next sample is a signal press sinch. Sinch. The outing was cancelled since it's raining. Because it's raining and in fact the outing was cancelled. Sinch. That tell about time. Passive. And this is task for you. Write on your book and change into English versions. Next sample, as you see on the screen, you see so. The signal phrase so. I was lost, so I opened Google Map. Okay, cause I was lost. And in fact, I opened Google Map. Why we choose so? The reason that we have to choose another actions. And this is task for you. Don't forget to write on your book. Change it to English versions. Alright, you see on the screen as. As it is still locked down, I will have to stay at home. As it is still locked down, I will have to stay at home. And because it's still locked down and evac, I will have to stay at home. As. As, as a reason. As. This is task for you. Change into English versions. Finally, we have conclusions. 
cause and effect tax, it tells about causality that we can feasibly how to use conjunctions. Once again, how to use conjunctions. So, learning English without practice, it's like read the menus but you never order it. Practice, learning, practice, learning, practice, never give up. Okay, you need a book to write what everything that you want to say and say it once, then it once, more and more and more. Review them until you realize that you naturally speak in English. I think it's enough for me to tell you about cause and effect. Have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.